Hey guys, it is Brian, and today we're going to take a look at Barrett Jackson's Scottsdale Auction 2021 that's coming up here March 20th through the 27th. If you've never had the opportunity to be at a Barrett Jackson's auction, uh, let me tell you, it's it's worth the the vacation time to take off from work to go check it out. Now, the Scottsdale show, just a real quick, if you've never been, you Ford is probably their big sponsor. Ford has a huge, and you first walk in the door, they have like a drag race set up where they have like two Mustangs up on dinos and you get a chance to race people. Toyota has booths. Um, GM has booths. Every All the major car manufacturers, it seems like, has something going on during Barry Jackson. Uh, Chrysler and uh, Mopar, they have an actual test strip outside on a track laid out for you to test out their cars uh, with a driver. So it's kind of a cool thing. So anyways, Barry Jackson, I just want to take a moment to uh, kind of look and see what Pontiacs are coming up for this March. So let's go ahead and dive in here real quick. We'll go into the automobile docket. Let's type in Pontiac. And, uh-oh, oh, 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 did I go to the wrong one? All right, all right, so let's dive right into the cars. And let's type in Pontiac. Let's take a look. All right, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four Pontiacs that will cross the auction block here in March in Scottsdale, Arizona. So. We're going to take a few minutes. I want to dive into it. If you guys would, when I'm talking about a particular vehicle, make a comment down below on what you think it's going to sell for, and I'll make a follow-up video on what the everything, everything actually sold for at the Barrett Jackson's auction. So, first one up is lot 114. That's on Tuesday. Let's dive in and see. And here we go. So, an 84 Pontiac Fiero SE Coupe. Just kind of look through the pictures really quick here. Looks like someone has stuffed a 350 into this bad boy. Right on. Looks like it has an air scoop on it to uh, help the breathing out. Sweet. Uh, a little description about it. It has a 350 engine in it. It has a four-speed automatic transmission. Um, has 80,000 actual miles. The title is miles exempt. So what do you guys think this will go for at the auction? So let's go ahead and head back. And number lot 374 on Wednesday is a 1994 Trans Am 25th Anniversary Edition. Let's check it out. Kind of go through the photos here. Backside, engine bay, interior. Oh yeah, it has the 25th anniversary logos. Emblazoned, it looks like all over the interior. Very nice. Steering wheel controls. Automatic. Sweet, sweet. I'm not a big fan of this generation of Firebirds, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, guys, what do you think that this car here will go for during the auction? Make a comment down below. 1994 Pontiac Trans Am 5.7 V8, 25,000 actual miles on this bad boy. All right, let's go to our next one here. And the next one is lot 380. It's a 79 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Let's get a look here. Take a look at some of the pictures. Backside. Isn't that beautiful? 6.6. .6. Wow, really nice looking interior on this one. That gold color. Door panel. Yep, yep. 
Looking good. More of that dash. Four speed. Back seat area. Another front view. Yep. And what else we got here? A few more pictures. And cool. All right, we'll come back up here. Let's get that first picture. And it says, it is a 1979 Pontiac Fiber Trans Am. 6.6 .6 V8, four-speed manual transmission. It is a WS6 performance package. It's solar gold. The Screaming Eagle on top. It has removable T-tops. And what? Oh, and an eight-track tape player and tilt steering wheel. Gentlemen, this, yeah, take this one. All right, back to the list. Next one up is a uh, lot 387. It's a 1980 Pontiac Trans Am Indy Pace Car Coupe. Let's check this one out. All right. Wherever this is at, somebody had some snow. Nice, nice. There's that uh, Turbo Trans Am. Even though it's not a turbo, but you know, is what it is. 1980. Turbo Trans Am Indy Pace Car, 22,000 actual miles, sold new in Ohio, all original service September. It has a 301 in it, and um, that, that's fine right there. So that's kind of cool. Sweet. Let's go back to our list here. Next one is Lot 388.1, 1968 Pontiac Le Mans Custom Coupe. Let's check this one out. Uh -huh. Yep. Good, good. Wooden strain wheel. Like to see that. Nice. Clean looking trunk. Battery in the back. Looks like it has some external gauges. Automatic. Looking good. There's that front. There's that back end. And Royal Bobcat. Hmm. 428 on the side. Ram Air. So it is a 68 Pontiac. Was built to recreate a GTO with a Royal Bobcat conversion with a rebuilt 428 8 cylinder motor in it. Um, has a Hurst dual gate, his and her shifter. It's equipped with a 3 inch exhaust, power steering, and 4 wheel disc brakes. It's been newly painted in red over a red toned black interior, sports, and all the correct badging, including 428 in the lower quarter panel. This Pontiac is rest free and a solid frame and nice undercarriage. Has almost 70,000 actual miles. What do you think that's going to go for, guys? Make a comment down below on this one. All right, moving along. And now, lot number 400.1, a 1960 Pontiac Bonneville. Let's check this out. Two-door hardtop. 1960. Got a red interior on white. Yep, yep. That rear into the trunk. Look at that dash. <laughs> oh, nice. There's that beautiful dash. Trunk area again. And some door panels. Lots of pictures on this one. Yep, yep. Looking good. Those fins, man. Late 50s and early part of the 60s. That trend. The Bonneville right there. Undercarriage. Give you a few shots just to show you what's going on. So this is a 1960 Pontiac Bonneville. It is a two-owner classic. 389 V8. Three-speed automatic transmission. 58,000 actual miles. Uh, original paint with a minimum of touch-up. All original glass, no cracks, and it's original interior, which shows a little wear. Um, 
this looks like it's a survivor out there, guys. Um, so let me know what you think this 1960 Bonneville would bring at Bear Jackson this year. Let's keep moving along. And now, lot 449. It is a 1999 Pontiac Firebird SLP Firehawk NHRA official pace car. I want to check this out. I'm an NHRA kind of drag race kind of guy. Let's check this out here. Kind of cool. I like. Looks like leather interior. Official pace car. Door panels. Looking good. Typical. Good, good. Nice. Has radio controls. Seems to be an automatic. Back seats. Has the front. Good, good. That rear end. All right, so it is a 1999 Pontiac SLP Firehawk official NHRA pace car. It has 248 actual miles since new. It comes highly optioned, including a 5.7 liter 327 horsepower motor with a four-speed automatic and 323 rear end. Um, really cool. And again, um, how many miles? 250 miles on this car? Um... Yeah, you guys let me know what you think that one's going to bring. That's definitely something interesting. All right, back to our list here. And now, lot 528, 1968 Pontiac Firebird convertible. As you know, I have a 67 coupe. And this was the color, if, I, if I'm correct, this was the original color of my 67 Firebird, or at least close to it. So let's get a couple looks here. That luggage rack on the back there. Oh, I like that black dash. I gotta admit, I'm torn about a, the the uh, color of this car when I'm finished with it, but I kinda like that black dash on this one. White interior. White rag top. That luggage rack, that's actually kinda cool. I don't know if I'm a fan of it or not. It would take some time, I think, for uh, to grow on me. So let's see what it says here. This Firebird convertible is equipped with a 350 engine, a turbo 350 automatic transmission, power steering, um, disc brakes. Um, it has one repaint its original color. The convertible top has been replaced. However, the interior remains original. Riding on Rally 2 wheels, it features a dual exhaust system, factory trunk rack, polished intake, four barrel carb, and chrome valve covers. An original car with few upgrades. It comes with an original intake, carburetor, and air cleaner. Um, it has 86,000 original miles. Um, wow. That is kind of cool. Alright guys, what do you think this 68 Firebird is going to go for at the auction this year? Make a comment down below. Alright, let's keep going here. Next one is lot 352. It's a 2002 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am WS6 convertible. Take a look at it here. It's bright yellow. Nice, nice. I like it. I, you know, I, I like it as a convertible better than a coupe in this generation. If you do or you don't, comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. But uh, looks like it's a manual gearbox in this bad boy. Oh, yeah, typical. Collector edition, right on. There's that manual stick. There's your rear seats. Some more exterior shots. Damn, that looks aggressive. I like it as a convertible. It works for me. I like this. I like the wheels, too. All right, so what does it say here? 
It is a 2002 was the final year that the Pontiac produced the Firebird, and the Trans Am example was 17,000, almost 18,000 actual miles. 35th anniversary Firebird is powered by a 5.7 liter V8 with ram induction. Um, it is one of 30,690 total convertibles and one of 1,179 convertibles built with a six-speed manual gearbox. Woo. The WS6 package includes functional air scoops, upgraded 17-inch polished wheels, um, Let's see, low restriction dual exhaust, tuned expansion, and a power steering cooler. It's finished in a sunfire yellow with ebony leather and features special edition emblems, floor mats, and cargo mats, and etc. Wow. So, um, less than 20,000 miles on a 2002 Firebird Trans Am. That's, yeah, that's going to bring a penny, I believe. All right, back to it. Here we have lot number 623, an 83 Pontiac Firebird Custom Coupe. Let's check this out. So this looks like someone did a Knight Rider type conversion on it. Oh yeah, definitely a Knight Rider clone. Look at that dash. Holy mackerel. So if you were a fan of Knight Rider back in the 80s, um, this may be right up your alley. It looks like even over the, the top, all the uh, buttons and stuff on the T-top. It's got the light in the front. What was the name of the computer? Do you guys remember? Comment down below. I, I knew that the car had its own name, Kit. That's right, it was Kit. And a little bit of the undercarriage there. So let's see what it says here. Pontiac Firebird has taken cosmetically converted to recreate the kit from the TV show Knight Rider. It's powered by a 5-liter V8, automatic transmission, 15-inch turbocast wheels, uh, bowling ball hubcaps, complete 3 4 season dash, and console with electronic screen accurate scanner and blackout and an iPad display screen. Ooh, interesting. So uh, if you're looking for that uh, Knight Rider kit clone car, it's uh, lot number 623. All right, back at this. Let's see here where are we at. Here we go. This is lot 642 on Thursday. 2002 Pontiac Fiber Trans Am. Let's take a look here. Nice, nice. Automatic transmission. I kind of like the wheels on this one. Another NHRA edition, it looks like. All right, this one here is a NHRA special edition from the Trans Am with commemorative edition built to celebrate NHRA's 50th anniversary. Only 534 were built during a three-year production run from 2000 to 2002. In 2002, there were only 189 NHRA special edition Trans Am coupes built with automatic transmissions. 2002 was the final year of the Firebird production. With 44,461 actual miles, the title reads exempt. The Trans Am is original except for the addition of a removal strut brace and LSP cold air intake. It has T-tops that still remain in their factory shade and is powered by a 5.7 liter V8 engine. Automatic trans, loaded with options including leather seats, air conditioner, and ABS. So with uh, what they say here, how many miles was on this one? Around 44,000 miles. Um, for that, that's that's kind of cool. So what do you guys think this 2002 Firebird's going to bring at auction? Make a comment down below, and we will find out in a couple weeks after the auction is done. All right, keep scrolling. Here we go, a 79 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. All right, take a look here. Just a few pictures. Kind of that typical smoking the bandit kind of look. Do they show the hood? Does it have the... Yes, it does have the Screaming Eagle on there. All right, so let's pull this down. It is lot 648. It is a 79 Pontiac Trans Am. It is unrestored. has all original paint and interior. And is one of 213 four-speed Trans Ams made that year. It is powered by a 4.9 liter 301 V8 matted to a four-speed manual gearbox. Has 26,000 actual miles. The exterior features a starlight black paint complemented 
by a saddle interior, uh, special ordered with rally wheels, and has been restored in climate controlled stored in a climate controlled building since new. What do you guys think this will bring? Holy crap! Kind of nice. All right, back to our auction. Let's see here. Next one is lot 669, a 69 Pontiac GTO. Take a look at some of these pictures real quick. Interesting color on that. Is that all the pictures? That's it. That's all they give us. So, in lot number 669, starting with an original 1969 GTO, this car was completely stripped down and finished in show quality gloss black paint on a nice body. And all the chrome and trim and bumperettes have been rechromed. The nice black interior features factory bucket seats and console, tilt steering wheel, and a factory hood tachometer. The GTO is Option with a power steering and power brakes and is powered by a 400 Pontiac V8 backed by an automatic transmission. It runs and drives while riding on factory wheels wrapped in new TA tires. Kind of cool. That that black paint job, I, the pictures apparently do not do it justice. Let's go back to our list. Working our way through these. Now, 1967 Pontiac GTO. Check this one out. So, here we go. Kind of a, a bronze copper color, yellowish. Nice interior. Cool, cool. I like that dash. Looking good. Are you guys a fan of this body style of the GTO? I'm curious as to uh, which generation of GTOs you guys like best. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Those hood scoops. That rear end. And what's that final picture? All right, so lot number 727. This well-restored 1967 GTO is a great example of a Detroit iron featuring correct WS code 400, 360 horsepower, high output engine on a four-speed, close ratio manual tranny. Um, GTO has been refinished its original color of Sigma Gold and black vinyl top and has been optioned with a black bucket interior seat. Um, rally wheels and with red line tires and a positive traction rear end. Documented with uh, Pontiac Historical Society paperwork, and this GTO has recently restored and looks great and drives great. So what do you think this 67 GTO will go for auction at Bear Jackson? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's see here. Moving along. All right. Lot 738. Another 2002 Pontiac Firebird. And let's see. Take a look at this. Backside. Another Ram Air, another automatic. T-tops. So this is lot 738. Owned by former Pontiac dealer, this Tram Zan has been kept in a climate-controlled warehouse and has 19 actual miles. It is powered by a 5.7 liter V8 uh, paired to a 4-speed automatic tranny. It's fully loaded with all the factory options including Ram Air Performance, um, factory remote CD changer, T-tops, traction control, and a performance rear axle. This 2002 Trans Am shows well and represents the final production year of the Pontiac Trans Am. Holy crap! 19 miles on this car? What? What do you guys think it's going to bring? That's That's got to be a showstopper. Yeah, definitely. Make a comment down below. Tell me what you think about that one right there. All right, where are we at here? We're rolling through these. Now, lot number 835, 65 Pontiac GTO Custom Hardtop. So this one here. 
kind of cool. Old school poncho. Like it. Love that rear end part. And oh yeah, that double headlight. Again, I, I'm I'm tough. I go between the different generations of GTOs. What do you guys think is the best one? So for this one here, it is lot 835. Refinished in Pontiac Montero Red. This GTO was created or treated to a total restoration and nothing overlooked. Laser sight straight lines and nice gaps. Under the hood is an original 428 eight cylinder. Its recent rebuild includes forged pistons, a comp cams extreme energy camshaft, and lifter kit. Um, a B cool aluminum radiator keeps it running cool, and headman headman headers give this uh, thrusty rumble. A smooth shifting Hurst four speed manual transmission and its full bolt posi rear end uh, rounds this machine out. Inside, the bucket and rear seats, carpeting and paneling, along with the headliner, are all in great condition. On the corners. Outside are 18 inch tires riding on Koi's gunmetal C5 five spoke rims. What do you think this girl is going to go for here? Take a look at that. All right. Keeping this train going for the uh, 2021 Bear Jackson Scott Cell auction. All right. Next one up is lot 841 61 Pontiac Bonneville convertible. Let's take a look at this beauty. Yep. A poncho motor in there. Big wide bench seats. Gotta love it. And a drop top. I want a build, build sheet. All right. So what do we have here? Lot number 841. This well-maintained and mostly original Pontiac Bonneville convertible features matching numbers 389, tri-power V8 with a four-speed manual transmission, and a safety track rear differential. It is also equipped with a power steering and factory upgraded brakes. It rides on eight lug mag wheels wrapped in wide white wall tires. The interior is an original white with silver and blue accents. It features a circular air heater and defroster, AM push button radio, dealer installed Easy Eye Spotlight, new windshield and new carpet. It has been well maintained over its life with only one repaint in the original factory color. The Bonneville comes complete with all its original documentation, including a window sticker and all matching and bill of sale. Whew, nice. What do you guys think this uh, 61 Bonneville We'll bring it auction. Make a comment down below. Let me know. All right. Let's cruise back down the list here. And next one up is lot number 846, 76 Firebird. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All right. This happens to be one of my... Second favorite years. Nice. All right. Let's see what it says here. This 1976 Pontiac Trans Am is powered by a matching numbers 400 V8 backed by an automatic transmission. It's finished in starlight black with matching black perform perforated Maro Kitty interior. Uh, that's a new one for me, guys. If you know what that means. Comment down below, please. Um, it is equipped with a power windows, power brakes, and power steering. A shaker hood, rally two wheels, and air conditioning all made the list of options for this car. Uh, as at a hard top. Um, the Trans Am is also equipped with a tilt steering column, remote driver's mirror, and an 8-track player. God, I love the 8-track player. The engine benefits from a full rebuild with new internals, pistons, and bearing rods. The transmission also has been rebuilt, and the exhaust has been replaced as well. This matching numbers Trans Am has less than 40,000 actual miles. Uh, the title reads mileage exempt and includes a two-sided folding car show board. So that's kind of cool. So what do you think this bad boy is going to go for? Make a uh, comment down below on this 76 Firebird. All right, we're almost to the end here, guys. Hold tight. Cruising along. Next one is lot 995 on Friday. Now, if you guys understand Barrett-Jackson, the cars, as you get closer to Saturday night, are the more expensive cars. So, 
Here's a Friday car, lot number 995.1, 64 GTO convertible. Let's take a look at this one right here. Uh -huh. Okay, that brown interior. Kind of that ruby red exterior. I like that. Supercharged. Uh oh, uh oh. Automatic transmission. Looks like it has some uh, electronics added. AirPod. Must be some kind of stereo system that I'm not aware of. Close up that front grille. 64 GTO. It has been customized. Let's see what they say. Lot number 995.1. This GTO convertible has undergone a recent entire rebuild with some of the latest GM performance and just over 2,000 miles since completion. The convertible runs on a fuel-injected, supercharged, intercooled 6.2-liter LS9 V8 motor, factory-styled, factory-rated at 683 horsepower. The V8 sends power through a four-speed 4L6E automatic transmission, and the GTO puts power down via positive traction rear end with a GM 12-bolt diff. Um, several other chassis upgrades include Global West suspension with a Ride Tech programmable air and heavy-duty sway bars. The GT also sports quick ratio power steering, four-wheel disc brakes, and billet wheels. Uh, creature comforts include air conditioning, power windows, tilt steering, leather, and a power top. So, what do you guys think about this 64 GTO? What's it going to go for? Let me know in the comments down below, and we will check back after the show. All right. Where are we at? Okay, here we go. Lot number 1011.1, a 51 Pontiac 8 Chieftain Streamliner Custom Wagon. Holy crap, that's a mouthful. That's kind of cool, though. Check that shit out. Uh-oh. I see that motor. Oh, that's a cool-looking dash. You know me, I'm all about the dashes. There's something about a dash that just kind of sets... Ooh, look at that. That is wicked. I like it. I like... I like that a lot. Cup holders. <laughs> Very cool. Back seat. There's that uh, luggage area. The back uh, wagon part of it. Nice, nice. Got a tailgate on it. I would drive this to work. I literally would drive this to work with no problems. Look at that headliner. Ashtrays. Look at that. Very nice. I love that color, too. Oh, that's awesome. In the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's a bunch of pictures. Look at that front. Oh, that is too cool. And a roof rack on top. And that sun visor. That is wicked. I love it. I love it. And the surfboard. Cool wheels. Nice undercarriage. Nicely done. Alright, so lot number 1011.1. This Pontiac Streamliner wagon was purchased out of an Ariz in Arizona in need of a much tender, loving care. Professional body off restoration was commissioned and completed in approximately 14 months. The interior was professionally crafted and features two tone leather complete with an aluminum Pontiac Indian insert with carpet to match. The body is finished with Lexus silver with bamboo and a BMW roof, black roof with green fleck. Um, the custom wood grain was completed by a wood artist out of Sacram uh, Sycamore, Illinois. A re rebuilt 305 TPI engine from a Trans Am and paired to a 700R automatic transmission. The rear end is out of the same Trans Am. The car comes with a custom luggage rack and surfboard on the roof, both built by a master carpenter. 
Other features include power steering, disc brakes, vintage air heating and cooling, power front windows, hinge tail lights to be seen when the tail gate is open, key fob entry, billet, specialties, wheels, and custom Pontiac inserts, master switch for total lockdown, and lit Indian hood ornament to lead the way. That is cool. That, yeah, that's, that's pretty bitchin'. All right, let's move it along. Let's see here. And here's one we have. It's a lot 1017 1981 Pontiac Trans Am custom coupe. There's no pictures as of yet. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Now we have pictures. A white. Looks like it has an LS motor in it. Oh, yeah, they've done some uh, custom work to this one. Oh, yeah. A full force, huh? Let's shoot through these. 1981 Firebird Trans Am. Cool wheels. Turbo 6.9, it says. Apparently made the cover of Carcraft Magazine. Sweet. All right, so description. This one-off turbo Trans Am built by Swartz Performance is powered by an LS9 415 cubic inch V8 engine and a 4L80E four-speed automatic overdrive transmission by a Bauer transmission. Uh, the twin turbo engine has all four seen internals with some of the best available parts. The full tube Swartz chassis has multi-link rear suspension and a front tubular suspension as well, and Ride Tech triple adjustable reservoir coilover shocks, rack and pinion steering, and a 14-inch monoblock co-piston brake calipers. This custom ride is one-off wheels and sports a Ride Tech Tiger case roll bar, uh, Carfax's potential odometer rollover. Not a problem, though, on this one, since it's all custom. What do you think this 81 Trans Am is going to go for at auction? Kind of cool. All right, we're almost into Saturday. Yep, we are into Saturday now. This is the 68 Pontiac GTO Ram Air 2 convertible. Now, Saturday is the day that most of your high-end cars go up for auction. Look at this beauty. Nice poncho. Oh yeah, this this one's gonna be a pretty penny. Nice, nice, nice. God, it's awesome. Very cool. I can only imagine what it would have been like trying to buy a new car in the late sixties. And a Pontiac dealer. I mean, you had a Firebird, you had the GTO, you had choices and choices. I like the green. I'm not a fan of green, but this green seems to uh, to work for me. All right, let's drop down here. This is a ooh, whoa, a lot of stuff. 68 GTO is the Ram Air 2 model and is one of 199 built in 1968, with only a handful being convertibles. The Ram Air 2 packets consist of a special round port cylinder heads, exhaust manifolds, and high lift camshaft, a close ratio 4 speed manual transmission, and a heavy duty safety T track 433 rear axle. The car still retains the original transmission and rear axle components. However, the original engine was damaged many years ago and has been replaced by a correct SR service replacement 400 V8 Ram Air 2 engine. It was built at the Arlington, Texas assembly plant in May 27th of 68. It was then shipped to Haskell Pontiac in Coolidge, Arizona for delivery for the first owner. Whoa, Coolidge, Arizona. I am like 20 miles from Coolidge. That's crazy. I need to do some research on Haskell Pontiac back in the day. This car has been pampered and remained in Arizona and California for more than 50 years. The current owner, owner has the, had the car for 32 years. The car received a recent no-excuse frame-off restoration completed in 
2019-20 time frame. The car was completely disassembled and stripped to bare metal. The frame was removed and the entire drivetrain was rebuilt. The body of this vehicle has gone over from front to back and the body fit is laser straight. Once the body was prepared, everything was given a fresh coat of correct Verado Green Code Q um, using DuPont Base Clear Coat Clear and Clear Coat Paint. The frame was stripped and all chassis components were replaced and or refinished to the correct original factory finishes. In all instances, any parts replaced were NOS were possible. Um, white, oh, got a little uh, implication there. Um, while the engine was out of the car, it was disassembled and completely rebuilt. The block was honed and new pistons, rings, bearings were installed. The crank was checked and lightly refinished. The Ram Air 2 96-cylinder heads were checked and given a valve job along with new valves and valve springs. Everything was given a coat of the correct Pontiac silver blue engine paint. No stone was left unturned and the black bucket seat and trailer and convertible top were completely redone using nothing but the best available correct materials. All instruments and gauges were checked for operation and repaired or replaced if necessary. All wiring harnesses were replaced with new. The restoration of this GTO is factory correct down to the correct T3 headlamps and original style red line tires. This car comes with a complete set of Pontiac Historical Society paperwork and a Pontiac Division window sticker. Woo! Wow! I need a drink after just all of that. So... What do you guys think this will bring at this year's auction in Bear Jackson and Scottsdale? Take a moment, hit me up with a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. All right, let's move right along. We are close to the end. Let's see here. Our next one, lot number 1281, a 57 Pontiac Bonneville convertible. All right, so no images yet on this one. It says, this is a 57 Bonneville. is one of 630 produced. It received a professional restoration to factory specs more than 12 years ago, including lacquer finish and numerous NOS parts, um, such as a marble steering wheel and deluxe spinner hubcaps. It's highly detailed and powered by a fuel-injected 347 V8 backed by an automatic transmission. When I'm at the show, guys, I will do my best to uh, try to get some pictures of this and put it up on my Instagram or my Facebook page. So if you don't follow my Facebook or my Instagram, do a favor and check those out. I'll put links in the uh, description down below. All right, so we're getting back towards the end. Let's see here. Next one up. This is the last one. Lot number 1305, 67 Le Mans. Okay, here we go, guys. Last one. Very custom. Lowered. Look at those wheels. Oh man. That dash. Seats. Yeah, they're hoping this goes for a pretty penny. That blue and red combination. There's your back with all the Sony audio. Look at that. Yep, yeah, this has been, oh, look at that, frame off, all the awards this won, all right, let's, uh, let's take a look at this, let's read the description, lot number 1305, this is a outfitted in voodoo blue pearl exterior with airbrush graphics and a radical red and blue floating console interior on the 67 Pontiac Le Mans. Coop. It is powered by an LS3 Thunder Cam engine producing 550 horsepower paired to an L470E overdrive tranny with a custom BM shifter. This radical custom sits on a Roadster Shop Rivo chassis with Alden Cole over shocks and one off billet wheels with a 7 inch lip on the rear. In addition to all new sheet metal, just about everything is custom on this Le Mans, including a narrow Ford 9 inch Moser rear end custom-made ground effects and rear diffuser, custom hoods and scoops, custom grill, custom radiator, custom cooling fan systems, custom grote red and blue LED underbody lights, custom underhood stainless trim panels, whew, flaming river string column and a custom panel and upholstered trunk. It also has a billet spoiler, billet hood, 
and billet hinges, billet steering wheel and pedals, LED headlights and taillights, molded LED market lights and ram air headlight intake, um, stopping the powers provided by Willwood, drilled and slotted big brakes, disc um, Hydrotech brake booster system. Wow, I need another drink already. Uh, the exhaust is a Magnaflow stainless steel setup with a hooker electric cutout exhaust controller. The Camaro, wait, Camaro? I thought we were talking about a Firebird here. Um, yeah, wait, no, Le Mans, yeah. Do 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 do. Even the best of us get it wrong. Um, so features a 4,000 watt Sony audio system, Ring Brothers handling and mirrors, Dakota digital gauges, new tinted glass. Power windows, power locks and air conditioning. It's a SEMA 2017 show car with numerous accolades, including multiple Good Guy Awards, Street Machine Grand Champion of 2018, and Slamology Best of Show winner of 2018. So this is what they say out of all the Pontiacs. This one right here will be the one that sells for the most. So what do you think someone's going to pay for this at auction here in the next uh, month or so? All right, guys, this wraps it up for the overview of all the Pontiacs that will be up for auction at this year's Barrett-Jackson, Scottsdale, March 20th to 27th. I'm going to be there. If you're going to be there, if you're coming to town for it, or if you live here in the Valley or in Phoenix, will you uh, let me know that you're going to be there? Um, I plan on being there probably about 50% of the time to uh, do some recordings and checking out cars. Um, if you guys are around, I'd love to uh, buy you guys a uh, drink and chit-chat about your Pontiac and talk about things. So again, tell me what you think these cars are going to go for. Let me know by the bid number and we will revisit this video after the auction to find out what these cars actually sold for at this year's 2021 Barrett-Jackson auction in Scottsdale. Okay, guys, that's enough for me talking. Uh, get back to it, and um, hopefully next week we're going to drive our 67 Firebird for the first time. We have spent a bunch of time getting it ready to drive for the first time. Hopefully next week we'll make a video on driving it. All right, that's it. Guys, have a good one, and we will see you next time.